Okay, this is my pre-game. I'm pre-gaming right now. Maybe four hours of sleep. I thought it'd be a good idea to attempt this tutorial, which I don't even 100% know how to do off the top of my head. I am... I am redoing um, the creator of V Bridger's tutorial. I found their tutorial very confusing to follow. What I've done so far is I've added meshes. Mind you, this is a, a model I'm working on, so don't worry. It has like the head uh, X and Y, and so like. Yeah, anyway, that doesn't really matter. That's neither here nor I don't know why I fucking brought that up. One thing I will bring up is that when I do my um, my models, my live 2D models, I throw things into folders because I like things organized and I like things clean so I can see it. So, um, like, I put the head ones over in the head. I'll put ones for just the eye as in an eye folder. Uh, sometimes I might even divide them up, but I don't use all the brows. Usually I end up deleting some of those. Uh, the mouth folder is the one we're going to be working with today. Then there's my body folders. I usually have triggers in case I want to exchange expressions. And then physics. Um, like, for example, uh, you guys know what physics are, but, you know, like the ears wiggle. Yeah. Um, but we're going to take that out. This is going to be my future model, by the way. I'm starting a cult with this model. We're going to take over the world. Spread the good word. All right. Anyways, um, so the like for the prep work for this, um, you're going to need to have all of your meshes um, prepared for the mouth, which is going to be the inside of the mouth and the lips. Um, and I'm not going to talk too too much on the artwork, but I will show you what I have. Um, so over here, I have the uh, inside of the mouth, which includes the back of the throat. Um, here we'll just we'll go we'll go down the, the line. Let me just turn some of this off. So we have the back of the throat. I have a throat hole. Uh, I have this shading. You don't need this shading. This just fits the style that I'm working with on this particular model. Uh, the tongue, the back teeth, the lower tooth, and then the upper teeth. And we're gonna need most of this. Uh, yeah, the upper tooth should be mostly fine. The lower tooth, I think we're gonna have some issues with. Uh, most of my meshes, except for in here, are like custom meshes, which I actually am gonna redo this one real quick because I don't like it. Um, so I just erased it. And if you don't know how to do this, like it's just this little button here, but if you don't know how to make a custom mesh, and chances are this tutorial might be a bit too complicated because this is a pretty involved involved <laughs> tutorial I well, the first time I did this like I did do this prior and I did it on a chibi to kind of get an idea I spent hours trying to decipher the tutorial which is ultimately why I was like I'm gonna make this into a tutorial for myself and I tried making a written version and I do have the written version in fact I'm going to be making reference to said written version um, that being said I uh, I don't know I, I was I was like maybe I should just try to record it because I noticed other people were having like some of the same confusions I was had uh, I had in, in the comments um, but it's also an about oh, it's so involved all right I want you there yeah I mean it's fine it's fine it's what I, it's good enough for what I need yo 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 what are you where'd you come from you I mean this isn't really gonna matter but for me I didn't invite them to this party and they're not welcome to this part no shut up a bitch you thought you could get away with that oh my god I deleted an entire point didn't I Son of a bitch. Also, if I haven't mentioned this before, oh my god, they're back. You just can't get rid of these party crashers. Get out of here. You're not welcome. I mean, in case I haven't mentioned before, I've had little to no sleep, and um, I decided that I'm tackling this 
And yep, here we are. All right, good. Good, 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 good. That's fine. I'll take it. That's good. All right. Uh, mostly because I want to be able to grab this part here and stretch it down because I didn't make it super long. Yeah. All right. Um, and I've clipped all of these to the to the throat, to the back of the throat. So the back of the throat, right here, I named ID back of the throat, and I grabbed um, that ID and I placed in all these clipping things. So that way they're attached to it. Cause like, um, if this wasn't here, it would just hang out of the throat. So yeah. Alrighty. No, no, we don't want you. We don't want you. So, oh my god, there's so much shit in this. Oops, there we go. Um, so the, that's a little bit of the pre-game stuff you gotta do. There's also one where... Because I'm gonna mostly be following uh, this woman's tutorial. But she's... I, you know, I recommend go giving it a watch. Um, and if you can get through it uh, easily enough, then by all means. Um... But yeah, you guys know how I do tutorials, so that's just what I'm doing. Just, just fucking, yeah. Uh, so anyways, so she starts off with this already being in a pre-closed state. Uh, that fit along with the lips. Um, so I have a lower lip lipstick, an upper lip. I have an extra, like, lip line in the center for, you know, good fun times, party times, but... Yeah. So we're going to kind of get this down to size because how she explains some of the stuff. Um, yeah. 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 I'm going to go with just, yeah, just, just understand that I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'm doing my best. Okay. We're trying to get this in this section, you know? And right now I'm using this deformer brush. We're going to be using this brush a lot. This is best friend for this tutorial. All right, maybe not best friend, but it's our bestie for right now. And yeah, I don't know what's going on with this, but we'll figure it out in time. Um, being that I use a, some skin color on top of or behind the lip, um, like if I turn off the face, you can see that there is a lip skin color there. It helps hide some of this. It makes it a little easier for me. If you're a better or more skilled uh, live 2 d -er than I am, then I don't know why the fuck you're here, but welcome. Um, yeah, so this is just like how I do it to hide things, you know? See, my, my, tu my tutorials have always been and will continue to be the bare basics for beginners and just to kind of get your foot in the water and the information so you can move forward using your brains because I don't think you guys are fucking idiots because if I thought you guys were fucking idiots I would talk to you like fucking idiots and I realize some of my commenters are fucking idiots because they're upset that I do not talk to them like fucking idiots and um I'm sorry. I assume that you all have brains and can do critical thinking. Uh, for the most part, that won't be an issue here. I'm gonna walk you through everything. Like we're gonna we're gonna baby step this because this this needs a baby step. All right. So we have this on close. The reason we have this on close is because they require it on close. That being said, I guess we can get to the point where we're almost ready to start. Uh, one thing I'm going to do also for part of pre-game is I'm going to do this uh, path deform, deform path editor. And I'm going to just grab a couple blam blam and the one in the middle down here. And I'm just going to change the path width to be kind of closer to like that. So what the hell is going on with this? What is, what are you, what is this? Where did you come from? Why did you come from? Excuse me. Auto oh no. I forgot auto connecting just opens the doors and lets any Tom, Dick, or Harry in, and I am not about that, so please get the heck out of here. Yeah, I don't I don't know. This probably doesn't make any difference, but it makes a difference to me. It looks cleaner to me and it also lets me know like I'm not gonna have to worry about some shit. What the hell 
I been on here? What is this mess? Oh, this. Now that is entirely you. What'd you do? What is this? What's this sharpness? That's that's the mouth bet the the throat. That's the throat. I'm just dumb. Okay. Look. Look. I love you guys. Okay. Um so <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna probably re edit this out. I don't know what I'm doing. Alright, so we've spent like ten minutes on pregame and this is all stuff expected to be done before you start, uh, even in her tutorial, which is not explained. Um, which is another reason why I was like, I really want to kind of make a tutorial, because, like, I'm not the most skilled- Like, I might have started out with Live 2D, and I don't mean Live 2D tutorials, I mean just as a VTuber, Live 2D VTuber. Um, I am not the most skilled at it, and in the fucking least, I am still very baby spanky new at it. So I just share what knowledge I have in order to help other people because I know some people like the way that I do my tutorials. Mostly what I do is I just walk through what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. And that seems pretty basic and unfortunately sometimes it's kind of long. Anyways, uh, strap in people because this is going to be a fucking long tutorial. <clears throat> Alright, now that we've kind of got pre-game down, okay? This is assuming you have your meshes done, uh your art done and just getting this done and shrinking the uh, throat I'm gonna refer to this as a throat I might also refer to it as a mouth bag and that is because that is what the creator uh, did and the creator is the art gun or uh, uh, pee poo productions uh, and their models are fucking uh, gorgeous and fantastic and like you should definitely check them out um, but Again, I'm, so I'm going to be using that terminology, and I'm going to follow like their tutorial, but I'm going to explain a bit more as we're going along. Uh, and hopefully not jump over steps, because, like, yeah. Anyways, so I've organized my stuff into folders, as I mentioned before. You can just click this button and then drag and drop what you want. But we want to be in the mouth. Um, you don't have to organize your, yours into folders. I like folders. I like organization, okay? So we have our first two forms here. Um, we're gonna, I think we gotta edit the open parameter. Yeah, edit the open parameter and we're gonna change the minimum to negative one. And well, technically we don't need cheek on this, but we are going to add a few more. And one of them is gonna be uh, mouth sh shrug. And we'll change that param to mouth shrug param. And this is going to be a zero to one. Okay. Zero to one. We'll move it above the cheek. And then we're going to do a mouth pucker widen. And this will be mouth pucker widen param. And this one's going to be at a negative one to one. Also, so the mouth open, we're really only going to need zero to one. Um, but yeah, we're adding the extra one uh, for reasons. So, because we're going to do synthesized corners and it's a lot easier to do. Uh, with the three and then we'll get rid of it at the end i don't think i added that to my notes but that's what we're supposed to do <laughs> look look um we're gonna add mouth funnel also i forgot to add this should have been at the top but whatever mouth funnel oh i put a space my bad uh funnel param also if i miss type things don't worry I do that I'm okay with that um I'm gonna put this under the open mouth I need you guys to understand that my naming system is unconventional I make typos or I just don't care enough and I will just type whatever so 
But for this, I'm going to try my best to not do that. But if I do in the params, that's why. Mouth, press, lip, open, param. So the reason why we're putting the IDs in like this, like one, it's kind of like a good habit to do. I don't always do it because I don't care enough. But when you're going to search for it while setting up the model, you're going to want an easy way to find it. And this is definitely an easy way to find it. <sighs> so we want mouth, press, lip open, one negative one to one. And all of these should have like that default at zero, you know? All right, so let's see what do we have here. We have um, mouth four, mouth open, uh, mouth funnel, mouth press lips open which is the biggest bitch of them here i think uh mouth shrug mouth widen and then we're going to do two more and this one's going to be mouth x so that's like when you move your mouth back and forth uh negative one and one and for those of you who don't know v bridger is a program that you can get over on steam um it will work with your iPhone or Android device in order to add these extra parameters or blend shape type of things into your model. You can also do a lot of these as blend shapes, but I don't, I'm still learning blend shapes on here. I've done it once and I didn't really care too much how it came out. So I'm doing it this way because this is how the original uh, creator created it. Uh, the next one's going to be jaw open. And I know I'm talking a lot and I'm not typing while doing it, but I want you to know what I'm doing. And I have some information that I want to share. All right. And jaw open. Okay. Now we have all of our stuff. We don't technically need cheek. I'm keeping cheek because I might want to do puffy cheek later. I don't know. I'm deciding. I haven't figured shit out yet. I'm still deciding what I'm doing with this model per se. I mostly want to rig it on uh on twitch so if you guys didn't know i'm over on twitch i stream games and i might be rigging this model over there all right now that we have uh some pre-game stuff <laughs> uh yeah let's, i'm just double checking on that one making sure i had it to negative we're gonna start with the mouth open i guess and for this, we're going to kind of mostly be working with these. Um, in the original tutorial, she pre-had these in deformers. I'm not doing that yet. I'm going to add the deformers as we go. Okay. Alrighty. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to grab, I'm going to select all of these with shift and then I'm going to hit control and make sure I grab the back of the throat. So now I have all four things like connected. Um, so now we're going to go over here and we're going to add the three uh, keys, which is just clicking on this button. So now we have like, you know, the three, the three keys. I'm going to go here. Um, and then we're going to go over to uh, uh, the modeling, edit form, and revert to original. And that's going to kind of give us this original shape back here to open it back up, but keeping it closed is just sort of easier for the tutorial. Now at this point you can take just the back throat and we're going to use uh, this deform brush tool and we're going to kind of just turn it in, you know, morph it into this whatever. We could also, if we really wanted to, I'm just hitting the control Z to back out of here. We can add some of these uh, deformer path things. And you can do this however you want. This is how I do it. So I just sort of like do the four corners and then I add like in-betweens to kind of pull out. Um, and you could do that to kind of like help move things around if that makes it easier for you. Like you do what makes it easier for you. Cause honestly, like at the end of the day, this is your model and you know, you got to do what you want to do. What's easier for you. Uh, for me, I do like path deformers. Alright, so this is going to be the, like, open mouth for me. Kind of, like, about there. I, I Maybe I'm going to make it a little smaller. 
Just a little bit. A little less wide. There we go. Yeah, that's good for me. That's that's what I want. So it's gonna go blah 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 blah. All right, perfect. <laughs> and for the lips, um, you know, de deform how you deform, man. I'm gonna do that, and then I might take this tool and bring it down a little bit. Bring the way down. Oh, well, I don't want the way down that much. Let's bring the size of this down. A little, little higher, a little higher. And just try to like move things out a little bit. And if that's not working, you know, again, you can go with your deformer. You can even go with a temporary deformer. You can do, I, I cannot stress this enough that there is literally no wrong way. And if people tell you there's a wrong way, they are the wrong way. <laughs> um, all right, so. If at any point you're like bored and you want to just jump ahead, I will make sure that there are timestamps here because I understand like sometimes watching people model can get pretty boring, but the idea is that you follow along. This is a sing along with Argama, okay? And we're going to be singing the song of Live 2D and all that shit. So, yeah. And I might speed through some of this, but I'm only going to speed through the point of adjusting and not points of actually like what I'm doing because the uh, person who created the original one did do that and I, I found it awfully confusing because I didn't know what they were doing during those points. But as far as just like adjusting, yeah, this is fine. Yeah, so now we have a mouth open. I just want to turn it off so I can see what it looks like. Blah 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 blah. I'm just I'm just kind of adjusting this because I don't know if I liked 100% how it looked, you know. And granted, I since this is my own personal model, I'm not gonna be too fussy with it. I'm just enough to where I like it, okay? Um, yeah. So I think for me this is good. You're gonna see that I'm gonna do like a collect these and like um so this is the upper lip lower lip the lipstick and the back of the throat sometimes you can just put the lipstick directly on the lower lip that's fine you do you boo i'm not here to stop you all i'm here to do is you know try to make things look good and easy on my end and try to help you understand a little bit and hope that you know uh, my inbox isn't going to be filled with a bunch of questions I can't answer because, like, I just don't know. <laughs> but anyway, so we have an uh, open close. Blah, 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 blah. Great. Groovy. Groovy. Now, jumping back over here, we're going... We're going to go back up to mouth form. <laughs> um, and we're just going to add some mouth forms. Yay. And for this, it's just like smile and frown, right? So, I don't know. Whoa. Whoa, that is not what I wanted. I don't know, I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this. Like, you can do it with this, I guess. But I don't know that it's gonna look too great, you know? Also, I don't know how people see through all their meshes. Like, this mesh is just fucking... It's just a mess. I'm gonna do it individually. You know, I wanna know why? Because, like... Yeah, that's why. Because, yep. So we're gonna do, like, a frowny... A frowny face. Mmm, it's angy. Oh shit! I don't want to do that. Get out of here. I want. I want. I want this. All right, you hit this little X. We'll get rid of everything. You, know, you guys know what. You guys know what you're doing. I believe in you. I have full faith in your abilities. All right, and we're gonna move this down just a little bit because what we want is it to frown, so it's gonna come down. So let me just pull down. You know. Well, you know what? Give give you a hot second. I'm gonna come and grab you. Pull you down. 
And my upper lip and lower lip are pretty much the same, except one just has lower skin. And again, I do that so I can hide uh, these uh, the throat underneath. It just makes it easier for me. It's a little less work. God, I kind of love it. I love the fact that it kind of looks like it's smirking at the end, like the tips are peeking up, and I just love it. <laughs> it's so good. All right, let's... Look, I didn't do that on purpose. That was just a happy accident. All right, there we go. And we're gonna take this and we're gonna kind of move it down and we want to kind of... Oy, this... Working with big things, I don't know how people work with large areas like this without it just being a hot mess. Like for me, the mesh is always a hot mess. They're usually all over the place. But some people can get this like nice and smooth and I'm just like, kudos on you. Like, kudos. I have no idea how. Alright, so now we should have like... Honestly, I don't know why I have a smile as my neutral, but I'm gonna make this as my smile, which is the one that we already have. I might pull it, pull it up just a little bit more. Like, pull it out a little bit more. Yeah, good enough. And then this one I'm just gonna pull down. I'm gonna make this my neutral. I didn't have really a neutral space. Look, I always do happy because, like, I have resting bitch face, and if I didn't do the happy, I would always look frowny. And I don't want to look frowny because I'm not frowny. I'm... A happy little I don't know nothing I'm not really that happy but I like to pretend I'm happy and if I can fake it till I make it that's all I want in life you know all right so that's gonna be my neutral that looks good as a neutral and then we have up and down and if we do like onion skinning do you guys know what onion skinning is all right so for this lip we can kind of see where the, it is onion skinning is an animation thing where it shows you the previous and the um next frame uh usually you can add more if you want to see a couple of frames but this gives us an idea of where like all the frames are you know and uh, the idea is that we might want to make this one um a little higher like maybe about here so that means everything's coming with us including the throat and the lipstick all right. And I turned on onion skinning by pressing this button down here. I am sorry if I did not say that, um, but I know I'm not going to keep it on all the time. That's just to kind of give me an idea to make sure things are moving where I want them to be moving. All right. And now when it comes to like the open mouth and we want like the happy, the sad, we're going to synthesize corners. And you can do that by hitting control four or you can hit this uh, hamburger menu. Uh, it says palette menu. This is a hamburger menu, in case you didn't know, because it's two uh, buns and a meat. Um, welcome to, like, American naming system. But anyway, <laughs> synthesize corners. And you want to make sure it says mouth form and mouth open. Yeah. I mean, that's all it's going to say, but yeah. Click. And now you should have, like, if you uh, check these out, you should have both of the things together. But you have to do it for all of them. I'm dumb. I forgot to select everything. <laughs> yes. All right. Perfect. All right. So now here's the fun part is where we get to kind of fix things because like this is a goddamn mess, but it got us in the ballpark. And ultimately that's what we're looking for is getting in the ballpark. So I'm going to just turn off those things so I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, it's so good. I love it. Oh God. It's a hot mess. Also, as far as what my, um, the pieces of the inside of the mouth I have, you don't need that. Like mine's overly complicated. You could just do like the, back of the throat and then like an upper tooth lower tooth if you want in fact you don't even need to do both of those if you really don't want to you can... 
you can do whatever you want. You don't have to have any of that in there. You can just have like a, a void, a black void into your mouth. And if that's what you want on your model, then that's what you get on your model. All right, so, but you, you can, you do you. I am, I'm, I'm trying to live to the best of my ability and I want you guys to too. And ultimately that's why I teach what I, what I know. I've never been one to try to hoard my knowledge. I've just, I want us all to just have fun on this blue marble, okay? And honestly, like, yeah. And I know people get like weirdly starstruck around me and I have no idea why because I'm just a normal human bean. Preferably a coffee bean. I haven't had coffee today and I could really use coffee, but you know, I'm just a normal person just doing normal things and I've just always been one of those people who like to try to help out, so ultimately that's why I do it. I don't do it for any other reason. There's no ulterior motive. I know some people have theories. I've seen them. I've seen a lot of the shit people have said about me, but honestly none of it's really true. I'm not a bad person. I'm just here to... I'm just here to try to, like, survive like the rest of us. Also, forgive me if you hear me clearing my throat too much. I, if you guys didn't know, I had COVID back in September. Oh man, September was like a terrible month for me. I had COVID back in September and I still have kind of like the, the COVID cough, you know? And so I'm constantly clearing my throat because I just, I don't know. It deposited its COVID alien babies in my throat and uh, that is what I'm trying to hack up now. And it's currently November. It's not going away. This shit's not going away, dude. But I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. Congratulations. We've done the easy part. <laughs> but what you really should do is make sure that you like what you have going on here. Because once we move forward, things are going to get painful. It's going to be bite the pillow we're going in dry and if you had no idea before how this shit works oh boy howdy are we about to have a great time together <laughs> it's it's going to hurt okay look it's gonna hurt and it's okay i'm here for you so i'm kind of back I, so i just sometimes i'm gonna be double checking to make sure that i'm not fucking up because sometimes i fuck up and you know it's okay, I'm human, I make mistakes, which I wish some people would realize, but they don't. But anyways, I digress. Um, all right, so the mouth funnel, we're gonna grab everything and we're gonna add the three parameters. There should be a negative one, a zero, and a one. I'll make note in the beginning where uh, I made this mistake, but that's, it's fine. Now we're going to kind of move the mouth open. This is, so this is how, this is how they do it, and this is how I'm gonna do it. We're gonna move the mouth open to about 25. And about, well, there I guess, I don't know. It's fine. Also, I've noticed that like the inside is a little funky, which I might wanna to try to fix real quick. Like, uh, why are you this funky? Oh, I know why. Hold on, I'm gonna undo this funnel. Because remember when we um, did the, we adjusted the neutral, I forgot to adjust this. So I'm going to go fix and adjust this real quick. Real time fixes. Look, you are going to have a problem. Like there's going to be something that's going to come up and like you think you're going to have it unlock and you're not. And you're going to be like, oh no, I got to go fix it. And it's not that big a deal. That was a quick, easy fix. Yeah, that works. Because we need it to be at like about here. But I need to have all this selected again. Oh shit, not all that. God damn. Hit control to grab that extra one. Alright, so we're gonna kinda put this at like a uh, two, two, five, somewhere around here. Like, yeah, right about there, I guess. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the selection tool. You see this little this little brush right here? Yeah. And we're going to change the brush size down because this is way too big. This is selecting everything. We don't need it that big, thank you. Um and this is all going to depend on how big your model is. Like if you have a giant sized model, you're going to need a bigger. And if you have like a tiny model, you're going to need a much smaller. 
Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to kind of select the center like that, right? And now we're going to copy this and we're going to do that by hitting control shift copy or C control shift C. And then we're going to take the mouth funnel and when it's at one and the mouth is at zero, we're going to paste it, which is a uh, control shift B. And it's going to kind of give us a little, like a bit of a pinchy face. It's really hard to see with all of the stuff there. Um, also on the mouth open, we're going to add a parameter at 1.5. I don't know why it says in my notes at this stage, we're going to have it, but we are, but so here's this. And I'm just going to kind of like adjust it. And then you just beat it back with your brushes. Just beat it back. Look, Bob Ross might've been a gentle, gentle man. I mean, like, look, we, we need to love this shit and it'll be good to us. And I'm over here like, beat it back, beat your shit back. And they're either both ways are right. You know, sometimes you just need to beat your art into submission and that's what we're doing now. Show it who's boss. And yeah, you can use those brushes and make things quicker and faster. I like to move things one dot at a time because I am secretly a masochist and I like to inflict as much pain onto myself as possible. <laughs> <laughs> Me. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Not sorry. All right. Um. Why doesn't? I thought I added this point to everything. I guess I did not. I do want to add that there. All right, you're not there. Okay. So midly, as this goes along, what you're going to want to do is um, adjust because you want to make sure everything looks good earlier on than later on, because once we get to the mouth press lip open, forget about it. Just forget about it. Um, now we're going to want to like select the corners and you can grab a corner and then hold shift and grab another corner. Like it's like that, you know, and then at the, um, oh, we're going to want to do the, uh, the, uh, 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 control shift C, uh, control shift C. And then when we're over here at the five, the mouth open point five and the funnel one, we're going to paste it using the control shift V and my meshes never look great. So now we need to go fix because bro, what even happened here? Are you okay? Do I need to call someone for you? Do you need medical assistance? Because you're starting to look like you might need some fucking medical assistance, okay? A more professional or, or well-known person sees what I'm doing and they're like, you stupid, stupid girl, what is wrong with you? And I'm just like, living, living the dream, man. <laughs> living the dream. <laughs> no, but like, I don't know. I've tried doing like all the shortcuts and stuff and for me I like grabbing like the points and just shooting it off into space. It's tedious but it's also like zen you know it's very just you can zone out to it and that's where I'm at in life right now I just need to zone out to shit. So it's not too bad like we fixed it like it's looking alright it's like it's like oh oh. And I don't know if we want to kind of like pull it in even a little bit more and be like, ooh, 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 I'm sorry. I make noises. 
uh, if you've ever watched me on stream, you know that I make noises. If you've ever watched me like do art, like if you've ever actually seen my face while I'm making art, I make all the faces, all the noises, all the time. It helps with the process. If you're not mimicking the shape that you are seeing, then you are not arting properly. I know that I said there's no wrong way, but there is a wrong way, and that's by not doing that. You need to do that in your life. You'll be uh, more enriched for it as well. I promise you. Make the weird faces. Go ooh every time you do an ooh face. Ooh. <laughs> Lost my fucking mind. I'm sorry. Sorry. Right. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Help. <laughs> All right. Um, now we're going to synthesize corners between like the mouth forms and the mouth funnel. And we're going to do it uh, twice. We're going to do it while it's on the zero for the mouth open and at the point five. We're, we're not going to do anything for this because like... You don't funnel your mouth for that. I am really expecting some wonderful things from mouth form negative after we synthesize corners. So let's get that done. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to synthesize corners and the top one is going to be um, mouth form and the bottom one we're going to want to funnel. And this is with everything at zero. Now we're going to move the open mouth to the point five and we're going to do that again. We're just going to form funnel. Okay. So that way we've done it for both of them. Now, with the funnel up, we go down here, it should do something. And even here, oh, that is a, ooh, that is a thing of booty. Oh, oh. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> I love it so much. Ooh. All right, now let's, Let's kind of like touch some of this shit up. I'm gonna speed through me just touching this up so you don't have to listen to me, my fucking nonsense because that is literally all I've been is nonsense. But yeah, let's go. I love the fact that, you know, I do all my stuff myself. Like, I love it and I hate it. Um, but it means I can be as weirdly jank as I want because I like the jank. The jank makes me laugh and I just need more of that in my life. <laughs> Although, like, if you can afford it and, you know, you want someone else to do it, then by all means, like, there's no nothing wrong with that either. Then they're the ones over here looking at a tutorial being like, how the hell do And they're like, oh god, I'm so glad I charged them an extra $400 for this because this is definitely... Oof. I have fixed the jank. It is a thing. <laughs> um, so now we're gonna do a jaw open. And um, the jaw open is, in the original tutorial came after the next part, but then it was like, oh, I forgot this. So I moved it here. So I don't know. Um, yeah, so this was normally after the mouth press lip open, but I'm going to do it first because I don't think it really matters. All right, but so now I'm going to just put it on my open so we can see what's going on. What we're going to do is we're going to grab our inner stuff. Uh, for me, I don't want the throat, the back of the throat hole. But what I want is like the tongue and the lower teeth, not the upper teeth. So, oh, so I want these, right? And I'm going to put them in a deformer. And I'm just going to call this like a jaw open. Jaw open. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Yeah. Um. 
and this is gonna go on to this line here so the thing about this is is um also like my upper tooth is not where it should be my upper tooth should be kind of closer to like here i think Yeah. Um, so, so the idea is that this will move open and closed like this. Da 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 ha 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 from everything else. And granted, when you're using the program, uh, all this is going to kind of line up together. Uh, the one thing we do want to check, though, is when we get to uh, certain points, um, we kind of want to adjust it a little bit. So we're also going to... Um, uh, adjust the we so we want to make sure that the teeth look good in certain parameters because like most of this is supposed to be did, what is up with this one yeah I don't know this this tooth this whatever is all over the place Ah, a little less, a little, a little up higher. I'm like, you can you can adjust it if you really want to. Like normally, your top jaw doesn't move much, you know. But when you have things like uh, this, ooh, this should kind of be there. And it's possible that I just made everything like super big and super chunky and that's kind of whatever. This should be jaw open and this should be jaw closed and jaw closed should bring this all the way up to like here. And if we really wanted to, we could take the lower front teeth here, grab like this and just stretch it down. Like, if we wanted to, like, just kind of, like, make sure we have drawn it far enough so when we are at things, like, this, you should not see this. I don't know. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to adjust where the mouth placement is so it matches where the teeth are in the mouth. The, the idea is that the teeth are in the right spot. I don't know if I just made my mouth too big and that's my problem. Because I have some problem. Big old teeth. I don't know. The idea is, is that you can move the inside of your jaw without actually opening your lips. So... Um, this does make it so if you do not have V Bridger, your tracking is going to be janky AF. But there's a way that you can go and fix it where you just kind of remove this from the equation. Yeah. Anyways, now that I fucking wasted way more time than I should have on this because, like, I don't know. Anyways, anyways, anyways. Um, okay, look, what the truth is is that I'm really just putting this off, okay? Oh! I'm in no means looking forward to the mouth lip, um, mouth press lip open. I hate this one. I It's just tedious. It's very, very involved and tedious, and we're adding another deformer on top of all these, so... Multiplying. Now we're going to do the mouth press lip open. And I don't know, maybe this won't be so bad. Maybe I'm just... Yeah, yeah. So this is basically saying, you know, the max one object assigned. It's fine. It's fine. Yep, nope, it's fine. We don't care. It's good. 
It's good. So what I do is I sometimes forget what the other things are at. So on moving this over to the negative one of the mouth press with everything else at zero. And I'm going to try to remember to take like this right here and put it nice and big so you can see what I'm doing because like this is the part I got really confused at when I was going through the other tutorial and I like, could not figure shit out. Um, so the idea of this is that we're going to want to try to make the mouth um, kind of frowny, kind of, uh, you know what, maybe I can kind of grab everything together. Kind of like a seagull or an M. Look, this is just a grumpy Muppet face, okay? So make your grumpy Muppet face. I'm gonna be going really slow. You're gonna see many cuts and edits in this part. All right, so for this next one, which is going to be at this um, 0.5 open mouth at mouth press lip open at negative one, uh, we're going to just kind of like thin out the lip down here, right? kind of thin off the lip and then we're just going to kind of pull out edges just a little bit to kind of almost like a subtle sneer. So this is, it's very subtle for the 0.5, you know, it's just like a little like, uh, like a little pull in just a bit. Uh, but for the next one, for the uh, open, or the one, what we're going to do is we're going to copy the mouth from 0.25 about here. And we're going to paste it here. And we're going to move the lips up uh, as it opens from the center, and so this will show more with the upper teeth. You grab everything and kind of move it up. I mean, it says show more of the upper teeth, but really my upper teeth are like way up here. It's really just like this big open mouth that's throwing me off. Maybe if I just made the big open mouth a little smaller, it wouldn't have been so bad, but like I would decide to make it huge. And we're gonna just kind of like adjust this a little bit. So, um, and I'm just gonna kind of like, kind of pull, pull them out a little bit. So it's not quite a smile, but it's kind of like a, almost a grimace, I guess. No, not even a grimace, a little bit. Now we're gonna do the mouth open at like seven, five here. And we're going to copy it with the control shift C, and then we're gonna paste it on the five, and the press will be one, like that. And paste. All right, cool. And uh, here we're going to um, just kind of move the corner We want to make sure that the center of the mouth is kind of in the same place and we can do the onion skinning for that. Um, really that's for this one, but it wants to really do just one at a time. I don't know. You can see the others a little bit. Yeah, you see it. So the idea is that they all, yeah, all of lip press corners should be in the same place and they are not. All right. Look, I've been adjusting. That's what you're gonna have to do with this. This is gonna be a lot of adjusting. Let's let's go with that. Let's go with that. So the mouth open and the pressed one. Uh, the corners here. I'm gonna move it up just a little bit. Should be a little wider. So we're just going to kind of like pull it out like this. Now that we've kind of done like the basics of this press and whatever, we're not done. We have to generate some corners. So first we're going to do is we're going to synthesize corners with the mouth form. So we got the mouth form and the lip press open. Okay. And now we need to adjust. So we were going to want this on one and like you see how it has like all that you don't want that you don't want any of that you're you want to kind of like get this into a point where 
you're not gonna see any of that. And I've already done this once, like, I've already done a V Bridge or Mouth before, following this tutorial, and I pulled my hair out. Now I'm bald, so just keep that in mind. Alright, so we want to adjust this to be more neutral. To be kind of more like this. She knows what she's doing and I do not. But as the creator, I would hope she would know what she's done. But even she had to go back and fix something, so like... I don't know. Okay, so... What we're going to do is we're going to copy this, I guess, and... With the control shift copy, I think it is. And then we're just gonna paste it on all of these. Yep. I just took a little break, ma'am. This this particular thing is very confusing for me. <clears throat> the whole the whole V Bridger thing. And again, like, I might not be qualified to make this because I do not have a full comprehension of everything. Like, I couldn't do it on my own without having, like, a tutorial cheat sheet. Which, by the way, I'm going to have my tutorial cheat sheet up on uh, my Patreon if you're interested in downloading it. But, um, for the most part, it is just, um, it's a lot of steps. And, like, I don't know, the way that the people who make these tutorials they're very skilled and they definitely know what the fuck they're doing so like they can do a simple swipe and it looks like they've just made everything magically and it comes with just like knowing how to use a program very efficiently i am not very efficient in this program and a lot of people i know are not very efficient in this program uh so the idea was is to try to make a tutorial that would help people like me and others you know um, and even so I have something to go back to, but all right. So now that I've had a break, now that you've all had break, I hope you all had a break. I hope you all had like a water break because we're not done with this yet. We're still working on this. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to synthesize corners and we're going to want to do it for all of these. So make sure you have them all selected. All right. All right. All right. All right. Look. Mm, I don't know. I've second guessed everything, but it's very confusing. Uh, so this part in her tutorial was the most confusing for me because she sped through it without explaining really what she was doing. But what we're going to be doing is we're going to be synthesizing corners for funnel and mouth press, but we're going to do it for each one of these points, minus this mouth close one, negative one, because we don't really need that. But so at the at the the well, you know what we can we can just fucking start over here if we really wanted to, but let, let's let's start at the zero zero because this always goes. So we're gonna make sure that this is funnel and lip press. These are the ones that we're always going to do, but we have to move this these dots around up top. All right, so we've done that. Now we're gonna move it over here, and we're gonna do it again. The same funnel press done again. It'll reset back to the center so that's how you know you got, you know. And now it's up there. Groovy. Now, back at neutral. We're gonna do the point five. Synthesized corners. Groovy. Oops, I unselected. Now we're going to move this up to the one. So we're at zero and one. And we're gonna synthesize corners. It's okay. Now we're gonna do this in the frown, and we're gonna do all this again, and we're gonna do it for the happy. So now all of these should be a, should have been done. Let's go back, and we're gonna select all these part parts that we have been selecting. All right. So basically, what we're gonna do is we need to copy these corners. Like I told you, there was a reason I was avoiding trying to do this. We're going to copy these corners to every one of the mouth pressed because it messes up. So what we're going to do is control shift copy. And I guess like on the one, 
Like you see how it's apart? We want that together, so we're gonna just paste it. All right, so now we can just kind of like uh, adjust a little bit because like these are a fucking jank going on. This thing has like collapsed in on itself like a falling dying star and the sentiment is fucking real. Uh, <laughs> so I'm just going to try to like adjust a lot of this to kind of like clean it up so it doesn't look as jank. I like jank. I don't need this much jank in my life though. This much jank is toxic. It's like junk food, you know? A little bit's fine, but you don't want too much or else you're like, the what, was, what is my life? And I'm already questioning all of my life choices. Thank you very much. Let's move on. All right, so now at this point, now that we've selected all this, we've got, we're gonna put this into a deformer. Uh, and this isn't gonna include the teeth and the tongue and all that, it's just the, the throat and the lips and stuff like that, okay? And you can name this pretty much what you want, but I'm gonna just call it like mouth shrug wide and X, cause we're, we're gonna do these next three on this one. And I'm going to open it up as wide as possible, and I'm going to make sure that we have um, everything encapsulated in this deformer. Also, one of the things I'm going to do is, because it defaults to like a 5x5, five five, I'm going to do a 10x10. Ten ten. A 10x10, ten ten. and then I'm going to control and grab and make sure everything in here is in here like that okay so now everything is encompassed is encapsulated and i hit control in order to move this wider and skyoshi thank you for telling me that little nifty trick so we're gonna add the two parameters on the mouth shrug and we're also going to do three on the uh, mouth open and this is going to be fairly simple from because we don't really want anything happening the open. Like, nothing's going to happen here, so that's why we want the uh, parameter there. So we really only want it the 1 and the 0. And uh, for this, just going to kind of... Well, you can kind of maybe take some of this and just move it up a little bit. You know, you just highlight it and move it. sort of adjust accordingly. You know, I draw on a very wide canvas and I don't understand how my artwork has such anti-aliasing. I don't know if there is a trick to it or not. That's pretty much it for this one. Like, like this one was super easy. Let's wish uh, a happy and healthy uh, return for the next one because the next one is going to be the mouth widen and the x or the mouth pucker widen the mouth x I, I might interchange what they're called but we're gonna add another deformer this would be um mouth widen x okay 
Uh, so widen is a pi uh, pinch and stretch. So we're just gonna pre-give our things because it doesn't really matter. So um, we're not doing the X and Y, the pinch and, and stretch. We're only doing it here. So at the negative one, we're gonna kind of pull in a little bit. I'm just gonna kind of pull it in. And uh, we're gonna kind of make it almost like a, a puckery. I'm coming in for the kiss. And for the wide end, we're just gonna kind of stretch it out and thin it out a little bit. All right, and next we're gonna do the mouth X. And the good thing about these two is that the zeros are nothing. The mouth X is when your mouth goes side to side. For this one, we're gonna, uh, for the mouth X, we're gonna kind of like uh, select the center of this and then we're gonna move the bounding box. That's not the center. Uh, I want the selection tool. Look, I am bad at picking out the selection tool, okay? Like, I'm just stupid. And uh, then we'll hit X, and then we will be able to... Well, we have to be able to select into X, and we'll pull the bounding box out, right? And then we will be able to twist like this. And then we can just adjust accordingly. You know what? Let me not do that. And let me put it on the actual negative one. I don't... I don't know, dude. I don't... Dude. Dude. Bro. Dude. I don't know what I'm doing. Why are you even here watching me? I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Dude. Dude, what? What is this? What am I? Who am I? Where am I? So I've added a um, d uh, parameter on the mouth open, and that is so when I do the open, it's going to look a little different because it wasn't meshing or blending well for my liking, so that's what I'm doing. Alright, so for me that's that's looking alright. So now I'm gonna uh, synthesize some corners. I'm going to synthesize widen and X. Okay. Because I want to do it for the, all the mouth open ones. So now that's pookering. It's pookering and it'll pooker over here too. Also, um, while we're while I'm here if you really want on this uh, mouth X, we can do extended interpolation, and that should make uh, things move a little smoother. As you can see, my energy levels have s severely dropped doing this, but the good news is we're pretty much done. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to throw it into one more deformer, and we're just going to call this the outer mouth. And this is going to be used for the jaw open. Um, yeah. But we're also going to add keys onto the mouth open. So let's add the three keys in the mouth open and two for the jaw open. That's two for the jaw open. Thank you very much. And the idea of this is that when your mouth is closed, your jaw might still open, but your mouth will stretch a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're just going to, on the clo mouth closed and the open jaw, we're just going to move it down a little bit. So it's like trying to like talk with your mouth. Um, and while we're at this, there's another thing we can do is moving the actual jawline itself. <clears throat> which might feel like we're going a little backwards on some of the stuff, but that's fine. Uh, so for the jaw- oh. Why do I keep doing three? So for the jaw open, like because it's closed here, we're going to want to just pull this down a little bit so we can just kind of like... So I'm just going to kind of pull the, the chin and I'm going to pull this out a little bit. Widen it and pull the jaw down. 
Just Josh and turn down just a little bit. So now it's like talking. Yeah, blah, 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 Alright, <clears throat> at this point, things should be done for the mouth, which means you can now export it and test it out. Yeah, you can kind of see how it has all the blend shapes that you normally wouldn't have. Um. <laughs> Mm. Um, yeah, so anyways, this is how you do uh, the V bridge your mouth, and I will have um, a thing kind of explaining a little bit more of this, but honestly, you could just use their tutorial for this part, because this part, they explain um, easy enough. But I just, for the mouth part, because I know the mouth part was a little bit of a... Uh, I had trouble, and I know other people did, and I know this still needs fine-tuning, like this is just very roughly put in here, but yeah. <laughs> um anyways thank you guys so much and if you want to see me continue to bring this model i plan to up on stream uh i stream over on twitch twitch.tv slash argama which i also stream games over there i've been doing that for like three and a half four year four years now actually um yep so if you want to see me go catch me over there <laughs> um all right see you guys bye